friends let us see how to go live streaming using google meeting first of all you must have a g suite account or your institutional account so i have my institutional account here and i have logged into my institutional account so your institutional account G, with G Suite allows you to send invitations to 250 participants. So if you don't have G Suite, you are permitted only for 100 participants. Click on the nine dots here. And you can see calendar. So click on calendar. You can start an event, for example, May 30. So there is no, see that there is no event on the day. There is an event on May 30. So let me take another event. So it's 1st June. There's no event on this. I'll say create. So I'll start creating an event here. Let's put some title for this, like webinar. And I need more options for this. So I don't want to invite others. I don't, I don't want others to see my guest list. So I'll, I'll not tick any of these boxes. So I want to add Google meeting. You can see here it is showing up to 250 participants. So if there is no G Suite, it will show only up to 100 participants. And you can see, join with Google Meet, the code has been generated automatically. I didn't generate it, it was generated automatically. And I have a meeting ID here, which is showing up. You can see the meeting ID. Once I click the meeting ID, I'll be redirected automatically to Google Meet. And here I can add live stream. So I have a link for live stream here, live stream, stream, meet google.com so this link i can copy and i can share this on whatsapp or any other social networking where you want to share like facebook or email i'll, I'll just show you where you can share so go to my inbox I can compose. And I'll be able to share. So you can see this is the shareable link for me. So I'll insert a link for this. I can send it to somebody, for example, webinar link for live stream. This is send. So we have to send this live streaming link in advance so that they are ready with the link. And when our webinar starts, when they click on the link, they will be redirected to the live streaming session. So now we have the meeting ready. We have the time ready with us. I will add some description here. I can add like welcome to my webinar. So I can add anything. I can attach files. I can upload from my computer. So I can select from the device. I can attach anywhere, something like this. Details of the students. See, I have attached one file, I say upload. And uh, that file is, see, you can see the uploaded file here. This is details of the student here at the bottom. So welcome to my webinar, I can say. I can add guests to this. I'll add guests. I'll add more guests. Okay, now I have guests. So you can add up to 250 participants in this, including you, they are 250. So now I'll say save. You can see there's an option like, would you like to send invitation emails to Google Calendar guests? I'll say send. So then 
it will also say do you want to invite external guests who are out of your institution so you can say invite so the mails will be shared to the invited people now the invitation has been sent to those people how to go live streaming i just want to open this google meet i'll say join now so i'll turn off my microphone i'll turn off my video and then i'll say join now because i'm the host i don't need any permission so there is an option called start streaming so if i click start streaming is everything okay with the streaming this i'll say yes and start streaming so you can see when you are live there is a symbol here live it's just yeah you can see here this is live so your meeting right now is going live so whoever is participating even myself when i'm talking i'll go live so the people with the link which i shared in advance can see all this program also i can present here i can present my entire screen i can present my window so i can do everything here see like this i can sh i can share see i'm presenting here so i can i can present my files see everything will be visible on the screen so i can stop presenting now when i finished i can also record the videos so there's an option called record meeting i can click this record it will ask for consent say accept and your recording starts you can see the recording here and once when you are ending up the meeting your recording gets saved and it is sent to the email address which you have used to host this google meet or else you can also stop recording you click the same three dots here at the end at the bottom then you have stop recording and you can click on stop recording stop recording so after the recording is stopped you will get the complete file to your email address which you have used to host this so this is how you can go for invitations with google meet you can invite people you can go live streaming you can rec you can record your own videos you can present everything you want you can also explain